we will continue with the uh, vector field that's associated with the previous uh, scalar field. And we're basically cons going to consider the electric field that corresponds to the electric potential in the previous example. And we know that those two are related, related by electric field is equal to minus the gradient of the potential minus gradient of phi. And uh, we can now take uh, apply the gradient operator on the uh, electric potential so that we can find the x component as of the electric field as minus the partial derivative of the potential phi with respect to x. So um, if you go back and look at the potential that we have found, uh, it was uh, k lambda zero natural logarithm x plus 1 square plus y square divided by x minus 1 square plus y square. So we're going to take the derivative with respect to x. And that's equal to uh, minus lambda 0 divided by 4 pi epsilon 0. So k is 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0. We have x minus 1 square plus y square divided by x plus 1 square plus y square multiplied by, now we're taking the uh, derivative of inside, uh, 2 x plus 1 In square brackets, we have x minus 1 square plus y square. That's the uh, derivative of the bottom uh, multiplied with the top. And minus derivative of the top, 2x minus 1 multiplied by the bottom, x plus 1 square plus y square and that's divided by the square of the bottom x minus 1 square plus y square square so let's check what we did here uh, we're taking the derivative of the top, multiplying it by the bottom, and then we're subtracting the derivative of the bottom, multiplying it by the top, and then uh, divided by the bottom square, so that's the derivative of inside, and then we take uh, 1 over the uh, function uh, due to the natural logarithm, and that's going to give us the partial derivative with respect to x. Okay, and now... Uh, we can see that one of these x minus 1 square plus y square terms will cancel, so that, that will get rid of the square here, and this 2 will get rid of this 4 and make it uh, 2, and this is going to give us minus lambda 0 divided by 2 pi epsilon 0, um, x plus 1 times, if we open up the uh, expression here, this is x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus y squared, and minus, of course, this 2 also disappeared with the bottom uh, 4, uh, we have x minus 1 and x squared plus 2x plus 1, that's x plus 1 parenthesis squared, plus y squared, that is uh, divided by the two terms at the bottom. So we have x plus 1. Uh, square 
plus parentheses square plus y square multiplied with x minus 1 parentheses square plus y square. All right. And continuing with this calculation, we have a prompt minus lambda 0 over 2 pi epsilon 0. So distributing x plus 1 to this uh, parentheses, we have x cubed minus 2x squared plus x plus xy squared. And then we have x squared minus 2x plus y squared plus 1. And then we have minus x cubed minus 2x squared um, minus x minus xy squared so that's uh, this term or terms here and then we obtain minus minus plus plus x square plus 2x plus 1 plus y square all right and at the bottom we have these two uh, terms so let's just copy them here okay and uh, looking at this we find that x cubes will uh, cancel and xy square terms will cancel and that will give us if we look at uh, the x square terms here minus 2x square plus x square minus 2x square plus x square so minus 2x square remains so we have minus lambda 0 over 2 pi epsilon 0 minus 2x square and then we have um, these x terms plus x minus 2x minus x um, and another so these two x's will cancel and these two x's will cancel so there is no x term remaining what about the y square terms? We have one y square here, one y square here, so we will obtain plus two y square. And then we will have these uh, two ones adding up to two plus two divided by uh, the same term at the bottom. The same term at the bottom. Now uh, we can write our final answer uh, also considering the cancellation of these uh, twos here. The x component of the electric field is lambda 0 over pi epsilon 0 x square minus y square minus 1 divided by the same term here so this is our uh, final answer for the uh, x component of the electric field now we will take a derivative with respect to the y component uh, the y uh, variable so this will give us minus 
partial derivative of phi with respect to y that is minus lambda 0 over 4 pi epsilon 0 once again we have uh, 1 over the function inside the natural logarithm x plus 1 squared plus y squared that's multiplied by derivative of the top multiplied by the bottom um, so it is 2y let's look at our expression for the fun uh, function again it's going to be 2y multiplied by this x minus 1 square plus y square and then subtract from this the derivative of the bottom which is also 2y multiplied by the top x plus 1 square plus y square and this is divided by the square of the bottom x minus 1 square plus y square parenthesis square okay once again we have one of these cancelling and uh, we also have these twos getting rid of this four making it two so we're left with minus lambda zero over two pi epsilon zero um, y times x square minus 2x plus 1 plus y square the first term and then minus y times so here we can use parentheses x square plus uh, 2x plus 1 plus y square divided by the bottom the bottom term is identical here so we can just uh, put it like this and uh, this is minus lambda 0 over 2 pi epsilon 0 now we're going to distribute the y so we will obtain y x square minus 2xy plus y plus y cube minus uh, y x square minus 2xy minus y minus y cube. And this is divided by the same thing. Over here now looking at this term I see that y x squares will cancel out and what else y plus y cube and here minus uh, by minus y cube so they will cancel out and I will have my final answer uh, because I have these twos remaining here that will also get rid of the two in the two pi epsilon zero lambda 0 over pi epsilon 0 so let me take care of these twos um, so it's going to be lambda 0 over pi epsilon 0 now you can see that I have uh, the minus sign here making this plus and this is minus xy minus xy minus 2xy becomes plus 2xy so plus 2xy divided by the same term in the denominator here okay so we obtain our final answer for the 
y component of the electric field. So we, once we have the x component and y components, we can plot the electric field at any point. It is drawn as being tangent to uh, it is drawn tangent to the vector field and the density of field lines will indicate the magnitude magnitude of the field and the arrows will show the direction of the field so uh, looking back on our uh, drawing here if these were the uh, drawings of the scalar potential phi and now using electric field is equal to minus gradient of phi we find these electric field lines and the density gets uh, higher close to the uh, lines of uniform charge that means the intensity is increasing and intensity keeps dying off as we go farther away now you can see that the a a x components and y components will become smaller as x and y increase so this is uh, something that's clear here and also uh, looking back our uh, code by uh, calculating minus the gradient of the potential the distribution we can just plot it as a vector plot uh, on our same drawing here here the color scale indicates the magnitude not the density of the lines because we have a uniform density of lines as you can see here so in this uh, in Mathematica we use the color scale to indicate the magnitude of the uh, vector field and the arrows indicate the direction so this plot is similar to this plot on, the only difference is that we have um, the the density here indicating the magnitude here the color scale indicating the magnitude of the electric field so uh, we have the same result using this uh, Mathematica code okay so uh, here we talked about plotting vector fields so in order to plot the vector fields you have to calculate the minus gradient of the uh, but scalar potential that corresponds to the uh, vector field and uh, that's what I have done here and having obtained the x and y components of the electric field at any point in space the field uh, lines are drawn uh, tangent to the vector field uh, so the, the x components and y components of the field lines are given by this and the density of the field lines normally indicate the magnitude the arrows show the direction but using mathematical code here for example we have shown that uh, instead of using density we can use a color scale a temperature map here to indicate the uh, increasing magnitude as we go closer to the uh, uniformly charged lines.